What's up everybody, Serenity here and today I'll be talking about the peaker's advantage and perspectives. So basically why sometimes people see you before you do. I wanted to talk about those two things in one video because they're very closely tied together and if you understand those you'll win a lot more fights without having to work on let's say your aim. Now I'm gonna start with the peaker's advantage and I want to go over the basics once again. I know I've talked about this in another video but it seems like some of you don't really know how it works. I know that from reading your comments in one of my gameplay video. Enough talking, I'll show you the clip. So it was once a 1v4 and I turned it into a 1v2. I know there's one ladder, one in A, and I don't have time to bash that barbed wire under me, so I'm gonna have to slow peek the doorway. Now let's see. Oh my gosh, Damn. shot him in the face! Now let's just put aside the bad servers and the fact that he's 100% HP, that doesn't matter. What I want to talk about in this video today is the fact that some people in the comments typed that I should have had the peaker's advantage in this situation. And that made me realize that people don't really understand 100% what the peaker's advantage is. The peaker's advantage is the delay between where you are on your screen and where other players see you. And that's caused because there's a ping in between you and the server and the server and your opponent. Now the thing is, the unit is not this Distance, it's time. Now let's talk about the example I just put here. So in my example, the peaker's advantage is 70 milliseconds. Now the peaker's advantage is only how much I move in those 70 milliseconds. So what you need to understand is that you have to peak very quickly. The goal is to separate yourself from that 70 millisecond delayed ghost as much as possible. Ways you can do this is obviously not walk through barbed wire, peaking when standing up, leaning as you're peaking, I'll talk about this a little bit later in the video, or just going from crouched to standing up behind cover. I know it's very counterintuitive to peek quickly because this game is a strategic shooter and usually people try to take it slow and it's understandable, I mean there's so many angles and murder holes you have to worry about in this game. But that's where droning and map knowledge comes into play. If you don't feel comfortable fast peeking a corner, you should probably drone it first. If you can't drone it first, then your best bet is to come out of the cover very quickly pre-aiming at the common spots. I know it's very reassuring to hug that wall and peek slowly but that's always going to get you killed. And by the way, I have observed a a lot of people, including me, to slow peek corners when not confident against the other players. So for example, I'm playing against a very superior team to mine, then it seems like I lose that confidence to quickly peek. I'm sure a lot of people will agree with me there. And that's a very big problem because like that's how you win engagements. And so if you're competitive and you see that your team is really not confident against the other team, just remind everyone to try and not be shy and quickly peek. At least that way you'll die trying. Now I want to talk about leaning mid peek. It's something that's really hard to do and its purpose is to make your peak a little bit quicker. I wouldn't recommend trying it unless you're an experienced player, but here's how a Kickstar does it. So as you can see, every time he's about to leave cover, he presses the lead button to make that peak that much quicker. Unlike what 99% of players do, which is to lean before they peak, right? Honestly, it's something that's really hard to do because it kind of messes with your aim a lot, and it's just hard to pre-aim those common spots and lean at the same time. But if you're a very experienced player, that's something that you might want to look into. Alright, so I'm gonna do something that I don't do enough, and that is to give you actual in-game examples. So let's say I want to hold this angle here. I'm the one who's gonna get peaked, right? So to fix that, I should get some really good cover or I can peek myself. So as you can see, I'm still holding the angle, but this way I'm peeking at the same time. Just a quick note, if you're holding an angle, you don't have to look at it 100% of the time. Your goal is to stop the enemy from pushing you. If you're checking up on that angle once every 5 seconds, that's more than enough. Remember guys, never stand still in popular spots. It's gonna work against bad players but the moment you run into an experienced team, you'll get pre-fired over and over again and it's gonna feel like they have wall hacks on. You're basically playing Tom Clancy's You Peak You Win. Don't be on the receiving end of that. Another way to hold an angle but still be the one peeking is this right here. So the goal here is to hold an insanely narrow angle that will make it impossible for you or the enemy to use. The only way you're gonna use it is for information. Once you see the enemy crossing from one side to the other, pre-fire at head level for some nasty kills. All you need for this is okay reaction time and some good recoil management. Honestly guys, it's very rare that you're going to lose that duel. It's absolutely disgusting. Alright, now that you know how to use a peaker's advantage on offense and defense, let's talk about perspectives. First off, before I say anything about this, I learned some of what I'm gonna tell you from a video that Waral made. By the way, he's a great CSGO YouTuber. If you play CSGO at all, you should totally check him out. Perspectives are the reason why sometimes an enemy sees you and he kills you, but on your screen you never saw him. Alright, so let's get right into it. This guy right here doesn't see me. 
As you can see, I have plenty of room to kill him and he doesn't see a thing. Now why is this a thing? No, that's not bad servers. It's because of the placement of the camera. You see, the camera is horizontally in the middle of your body. Obviously, your shoulders are going to stick out then. The closer you are to that wall, the bigger of a problem it is to have the camera in the middle of your body and your shoulders sticking out. If you're far away from it, it's not that big of a deal. Now, because this game is all about pre-fire, this is a big deal. Like, most of the firefights are won before there's any shooting involved. So what you see on the screen is a shitty drawing that I did in MS Paint and for you guys that are more visual then this might help you. So in that example the enemy has a huge advantage because he's far away from the cover which means he sees you first. So if you want to peek that kind of angle do it very quickly. And obviously if you just sit there you're gonna get killed not seeing a thing. If you don't understand entirely that's fine. All you need to get from this video is that you need to peek as far away from the walls as possible. If you absolutely have to peek close to the wall, for example in a doorway, then do it quickly because you're at a big disadvantage. If you know your enemy is close to the wall and you can peek very far away from that wall, then do it slowly because you'll be able to shoot his shoulders before he even sees you. If you're on the receiving end of that, try to lean as much as possible. Leaning will negate a lot of what I just said, but not completely. But that should be a given, I mean you should almost always lean. Alright so let's try to merge the peeker's advantage and the perspective knowledge that we now have. So first off, we always want to peek as far away from the wall as possible. While I'm engaging someone, I should think of my distance to the wall and his distance to the wall. If he's further than me, I should peek quickly because he'll see me first. If I'm further away, I can peek quickly for the peeker's advantage or I could peek slowly to pick off his shoulders or to pre-fire his head or something. The worst possible thing you could do is peek slowly hugging the wall. And remember that clip? Well, that's exactly what I did. I hope everything makes sense now and I just wanted to touch on some random subjects. First off, please don't be a Call of Duty Elite Sniper. You shouldn't stick out the barrel of your gun through the window, you're just gonna get pre-fired all day. When you spot an enemy with a drone, don't tell him you know where he is, just go and pre-fire him instead. If you watch my stream, you'll often hear me say, he doesn't know that I know he's there. And that's something that I see a lot of people overlooking. And the last tip I have for you today is if you see a drone staring at you, you should probably leave that corner. I see way too many people being stubborn and holding that angle for a long time. That's gonna get yourself pre-fired all day. How flashed are you, buddy? <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I worked really hard on it, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you learned something new, please share it with a friend, that would be awesome. The next video should be on settings, and after that I'll have a gameplay video. By the way, buckle up for that gameplay video, I got some sick clips. In the meantime, you can watch my stream on twitch.tv slash serenity17. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Peace. behind you. Oh my god. Oh! Okay, get banned. Oh my oh. god! Oh. Eliminated. Hey, oh I man, why was picking up? And they threw my... Yeah, they have Sensor to Oh, he's so outside the room. Cover me, reloading! Am I dead? I got 125, yeah.